Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two Drink Minimum, the podcast your government warned you about, if your government is North Korean, that is. Uh, the man in front of me, the legend, the myth, Mike Ward. I am Mike Ward. You are Pantelis, mm. and our friend over there is uh, happy to be here, really. How you doing, guys? I can see your balls hanging down there. You're very, you very loose sweat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've oh, got the fucking... You've got the gooch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gooch my gooch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, be- before we start the podcast, I want to say if uh, if uh, people listening would like to have a podcast and you're like, I need a studio, I need someone that knows what he's doing to record it for me, you have your podcast that you're renting out yeah. to the public. Then. The Mike Ward Theater of Dreams is now available for other people to rent. Uh, so far, so good. Poseidon is the main producer there. Uh, we might have to add on someone else because there's more people than uh, anticipated that want to be podcasters uh, but we're all set up now uh, latest in technology okay so i'm very happy about it that's why it looks nice and everything's recorded properly you get your little video your audio later and you can do whatever the hell you want with it so booking podcast studio at gmail.com is the website well, no, the email rather to send your inquiries or you could find the link if you go to my website pentelscomedy.com uh, links are in the description or reach out directly to poseidon online he'll hook you up yep. and when uh, people if people sign up uh, or not sign up, but rent it. They get like they say in French, clé en main. So yeah, they, so they don't because people are like, do I have to like do this? No, yeah. you walk in. Poseidon does the live thing for you, the live production for you, and then you get the video that you just recorded and a separate audio track in case you just need audio, or whatever it is, and you can do whatever you want with it. If you want to okay. uh, take it and add a new, like an intro, uh, credits, or whatever, do whatever you want. We give you the proper video, and we don't hold it hostage. Okay, you get it right away. Excellent. Yeah. And if you're too dumb to upload it. To YouTube. Oh, Poseidon will hook you up. I'll okay. let you know. What's, yeah, his, uh, and it's, it's, but it's super easy. Oh, that, like, that's easy. The hard part is the production. You need a producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. We, do, we take care of the hard part. The yeah. easy part is put it up wherever you want after. And even like, because people are like, I know about podcasts with the audio with the RS, RSS feed. But now there are so many, like, uh, it used to be there was just SoundCloud. There's that, Anchor where yeah. you could upload just a video file and it'll send it to Spotify, video and audio. Oh, it'll take every. Don't worry, that will hook people if they need, if they really can't Google it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we're we're the podcast kings. We know what we're doing. Excellent, yeah. excellent, very cool. All right, Poseidon, you wanted to talk about something that we missed on the last recording. Yes, uh, kidnapping. A kidnapping of uh, my little dog. For real though, really? or are you exaggerating? She held her hostage for a little bit. A woman actually stole the yes. dog. So what happened From was where uh, she didn't steal it. Well, because. Uh, well, I've held her hostage for a little bit. Is stealing? stealing uh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, what happened is because my mother started working a lot again, uh, because uh, she couldn't before because of the pandemic and shit. Uh, but now she's working a lot, so the dog grew very as attached. A, as a bus driver. A uh, bus driver, numerous things. She works in the construction uh, uh, as well, but like cleanup, not okay, actual okay. construction. So construction, bus driver, all lady jobs. Yeah, and, your mom's and, very and uh, feminine. Uh, my mom is a large woman that uh, can <laughs> beat most men up. Okay. <laughs> She's a lady. <laughs> Classy woman. And um, and she even does uh, like uh, babysits old people and shit. Okay. Yeah. So uh, she started Do they want to be babysat? Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm your babysitter, <laughs> Olga. Like, I didn't order babysitter. You order the babysitter. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm not a baby. You are the day. And uh, but the thing is, because she was home a lot during it's the pandemic, it's called babysitting. <laughs> but you're not. You don't have to sit on me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you just sitting the whole time? It's babysitting. I'm sitting, baby. <laughs> God damn. All right, so during the, so now she works. Uh, now she works, but the dog grew very attached uh, to my mother even more. She was already very attached, but even more because of the pandemic, because she was home all the time. Yeah. Right? So the dog, every time my mother leaves now, she gets anxious. So because she's anxious, she barks a lot. It was my homie, yeah. So yeah, exactly, basically, and uh, but because she's barking a lot now, it's getting very annoying for the neighbors. So there's this uh, lady friend of hers. More annoying than your mom yelling at the kids. Yes. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because she'll bark at like late at night and shit okay. too. For no your, reason. Your mom or the dog? The, the dog. The okay. dog. She's just okay. there. She's upset that my mother isn't there, so she's just literally at the window barking. Okay. Oh. You know, which is a sad thing. Wait, you know? barking yeah. at strangers or just barking, barking into the just night? Just barking into the night, hoping your mom hears it. Yes. Yeah. Which is very sad. Yeah, and, um, and what what which did and was. And where are your brothers? Don't they live there too? No, um, all my brothers are like moving out and shit. Oh shit! But okay. even even with my other brother there, she's so attached to the dog that uh, she hates the other brother. That no no, no she still looks for my mom. But she, she's not gonna bark everywhere. She'll be distracted by the brother. 
But him too is not there because he works a lot That's as well. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying if he yeah. was there. Yeah. Uh, even at night. No, she still barks even when okay, he's there. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, so she left it at this lady friend of hers that uh, owns the building. So even if the dog barks a lot, nobody can tell shit because she owns the building. So she'll tell people, go fuck yourself. Um, this does not sound like a kidnapping. Not at all. Your mom gave yeah. her the dog. Yes, she yeah. gave her the dog. So then the dog uh, started seeing her. But this lady is... Uh, how do I put it in a nice way? A bitch. That too. Okay. And uh, a little bit crazy. Okay. Right? That's so, what you're having trouble saying? So you dressed like a mental patient. Why would that be? <laughs> so, uh, one a, of you. She's a bit of a... She's a, yeah. she's a one of us. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, and what happened was uh, my mother would go and see her, take her out for walks and shit in the beginning. All was well. Hmm. But eventually what happened was this oh. is how it was ex- explained to me. Uh, so the, the dog lived with the lady all yeah. the time. She has other dogs and your as well. Mother, your mother was like being like a, a bad father. Just basically, coming, basically. Coming in <laughs> every other day. Yeah. I got a present for you. But then eventually this lady goes, you know what? I'm not allowing you to see the dog anymore because the dog is anxious when you leave. So it's bad for her. But my mom's like, no, the dog is like, she's attached. Yeah, but it's normal when, like when I leave, but she's happy when I'm back and shit. Right. So for, it was like for a few weeks, she wouldn't let my mother see uh, her dog. And uh, I, my mother called me and she told me this and I, I threatened the lady, but I didn't threaten directly. But I to get, her. I get what the lady say Cause your mom was like, the, the dog is, is anxious. Wait, your mom would just show up and see it for five and, minutes. And then no, no, not for five minutes. She would hang out there for a while and chill with the dog and bring oh, her on walks no, and no, shit. No, no, no. That's, that's not, not good. Yeah, not that's good. you can't you can't put your kid up for adoption and then show and up. Then oh no, no. it was go, temporary. Hey, oh no, I bought tennis rackets. Oh no, it was yeah. temporary. It's temporary until they move to another place. Who moves? My, my mother, Who's to a place where they accept pets. Now she's at a place where they don't accept pets. Exactly. Well, allegedly. What are you talking about? I thought she's at the place you've always been. Yeah, she is. That's where the dogs always live. Yeah, but now they're threatening and shit because it. Anyways, because uh, it, it's barking all the yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot. I'm, I'm not. I can't get too into too many details. Okay, because the story doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Now, and, and your mom, when is she moving? Next year? I don't know. Yeah, none of this sounds like you might be the bad guy. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> it, yeah it, everything. I feel bad for this lady. Yeah, and the dog. Yeah, the dog. Well, going I feel bad it. for the dog. Yeah, the dog's going through it. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, but she threatened to be like, no, nah, you can't see the dog anymore. Blah blah blah. This that. Well, and she said you can't see the dog until you move. But out it's not her dog. No, 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 no. Or she, she said you. This is my dog now. Basically, well, not like that. But like she was like, "No, nah, I'm not letting you see the dog," which is still a fucked up thing yeah, to do, bro. To is, somebody else's is. dog, it's bro. hundred percent. Yeah, but you giving her the dog is also fu- like all. She this asked her to babysit the nothing, dog. Nothing, nothing in that story works. Yeah. No, but she asked her to babysit the dog until they find the new place. I wouldn't have. But asked that's crazy because there's no actual timeline. That could be three years from now. Yeah. No, no, no. She gave like uh, it's soon. She's looking to move out soon and shit. She's looking to move out soon. Yeah. But she doesn't have it, it could be much. She's look, be they're act, no, they're actively it, looking it for could a be place. Next July. No, no, they're actively looking for a place. Because when someone that's like if you go, hey, can uh, you watch my seat? You watch my seat and I'm just going to the bathroom. And then after four hours, you're like, <laughs> Where is this fuck? No, no, fuck it's, that it's guy. Not, you're like, how not, come you didn't watch yeah. my seat? No, no, it's not to that extent. Uh but the, watch my dog, uh the time it takes me to get an apartment. It's means calm down, sexy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's too vague. Like, yeah. it's too. You open. gotta no, no. go. Hey, uh, I'm giving. I'm gonna get an apartment for sure. I'm moving out in a before month. Uh, November. She, she probably yeah. gave all those details, but she didn't give them to me because I just heard parts okay. of the story. Okay. okay, basically, but she's given all those details, and they're actively they're actively looking for like new her, places. Her and her uh, boyfriend. Yes. So where's okay, the dog so now? So the dog is at this lady's place, and uh, uh, and uh, I got very angry. And I told her if uh, if she doesn't let you see the dog, I will come over there and burn her house down. Yeah, kill the, the dog. House yeah. No one's gonna have it. My mom can't have it. No, no, it, without no. the dogs, without the dogs, without and the dogs. And the house that you your this lady lives in the same building. No, as no, your no, it's mom, not the right? same building. Different building, okay. and she lives Different with building. many dogs. Yeah. So you were gonna just kill a lot of other dogs. No, I was going okay. to kidnap the other dogs and then burn the building. No, down. you weren't. No, uh, you, you don't have that work ethic. We're all aware. Of course I do. At all. At all. You were gonna end up. Burning her living room and killing eleven dogs. <laughs> you can't even put on a full shirt. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I got <laughs> I go fuck yourself. <laughs> Anyways, I got very upset, and after I got very upset, now she's letting her see the dog again. Okay, okay. but what's the story now with the dog? Does the dog live there for good? Is that no, 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 dog? not for good. Uh, just until they find a new place, and then where does your mom's boyfriend live? Uh, I don't know actually. 
That's good. That's a good I haven't been keeping well because like, here's Does the thing. Does he live in the same neighborhood? I think so. Well, here's the thing. The, the he doesn't work the same hours. My as family. As your uh, mom? Couldn't oh. he just come over yeah, and, and watch the baby? Dog when he's oh no, he works crazy hours. Okay. Yeah, it's just I, I haven't been keeping in too much in touch with my so family. So anywhere anymore. your mom goes, that dog's gonna be barking all night alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause she's yeah. The reason why the dog's barking is because your mom is never home. So if she finds a new apartment, and she's never. She's home. still not gonna be ever home. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that dog's fucked. Yeah, poor dog. Yeah, I don't know what to do, but because the, the thing is, you're not allowed to have dogs. No, she but and also and he has a cat already. Yeah. That's why they make Cat-ed. a fun family. And, but she uh, she also. Never took my advice to train the dog from the get go, like to get him cut, lifting weights. No, no, just <laughs> like train so the, she doesn't. The v to <laughs> go <to his> cock? <laughs> that, no, uh, but like train so she doesn't Adam bark. Dog. Like so it. she doesn't bark at strangers. So she just just fucking bark. It's not too late though. Oh, she's you old. just you just have to give the dog away. There's a there's a guy I met that uh, he's a uh, you know how but then my mother's gonna fall into the usually depression. trainers your mother never sees a dog already no she does all the time you, usually trainers when? I don't know during the day I don't know her daily schedule but she, you say she doesn't live with the dog anymore yeah she gave it to her, to her friend which is one block away and she goes and visits the dog she, every every day every day every day. God damn, that must be annoying for the yeah, walks for yeah. the lady. Oh, but she's unemployed. Yeah. She doesn't care. She, that's her thing. She she she's a uh, she's like a cat lady, but like with dogs. Yeah, but now she's a cat lady with dogs and, and your, your mom. mom. Yeah, he gets it. She did, did uh, she yeah. put out a, a plate on the on the balcony <laughs> for your mom? It's just mortadella. <laughs> but still, no. My whole thing is it's so fucked up to say that to somebody about their all dog. All of a hundred percent. But this whole thing is fucked it's, up. Look, it's all fucked up. It's a sticky situation. It's kind of like the situation you were in with your dog, and you had to move out and shit. Not at all. Like the situation with my dog. I didn't give my dog away. I just took my dog and moved out. She didn't give it away. Yeah. She, you know, the dog is being baby. It's like daycare. Well, no, it lives there. Yeah, temporarily. That's not daycare. Yeah, but. Nah. The, well, it's it's uh, okay. It's, it's a foster. Home. It's a summer camp, bro. No, foster it's a foster home. home. It's a foster home. It's not yeah. summer camp. It's a foster home. <laughs> yeah, it's no, but it's it's temporary uh, 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 until she finds a new place. And yeah, then foster home. The dog's being fostered. Yeah, yeah, but not like not like not like permanently. Yeah, so it's a foster home. Yeah, it's not a forever home. Yeah, yeah, it's in a foster home, and it's yeah. the same as uh, kids. Usually, kids when you're 18, you they set you free. Yeah, and uh, when you're a dog, you die. <laughs> so it's the same, same, same. But what yeah. a poor dog! Yeah. Poor dog, and uh, poor my mom as well, because uh, her too. Like she, she couldn't see her for a while, and she was sad. Yeah, yeah they get attached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get my, attached. my mother's like super attached to the dog as well. Like, uh, and there was no problem up until she changed her work hours because the dog barks at night. Up until she started working a lot. Yeah, you know ah. what you should do because you were uh, at first when she was dating that guy. Worried that is he doing this for the the papers and blah blah blah. He should he should pay for everything, and oh, then yeah. she should be like a stay at home mom with the dog. Oh, that'd and be then amazing. you'll see if he loves her for real. Mm. If he's willing to pay for everything, negotiate that. Yeah, yeah, but I haven't been getting too involved in in uh, my family affairs. I've been I've kind of backed off. A he bit. only okay. intervened for dog politics. Okay. I only intervened because uh, it made me super sad to hear that. And yeah, it's angry. very sad. Imagine yeah. it's your dog. And yeah, exactly. That's dog. what I thought. So I got super pissed. But what's fucked up is it's fucked up both ways. Because it like is fucked up both it's ways. Fucked up. You know, it's my dog. But then it's like, yeah, you gave me your dog. Yeah, yeah, but she knows it's temporary as well. Like, anyways, they're close friends. I know, but that's the a thing. lady that has fourteen dogs doesn't get what temporary means. Yeah, and also those are all yeah. temporary. Those dogs. are all temporary dogs, and also. But it's like it's like how you you drop off your your dog at your mom's place, like when you were on vacation. Yeah, I drop it on off vacation. on vacation, or I drop it off for her to hang on, and then I pick her up at night. Yeah, well, my mother dropped off her dog. No, she didn't drop it yeah. off. She never she picked it back up again. Her she dog. abandoned. Yeah, but her she dog is going to pick it back up again. I know, In but that year. hasn't happened. But that's not abandoning. It, it kind of is. It kind of is. No, it is. It is the long, dog. 100% how long the dog feels abandoned? Dog, because dogs don't have a concept of time. Yeah. So if you leave uh, your dog at eight in the morning, you come back at five. Thinks mm-hmm. you had gone for I a year. Your dog is like, God damn, you've been gone for a month. Yeah, when I my dog saw me when I came back, she was fucking having a shaking, going crazy. In her head, he's like, "Fuck, he's back." I thought he died. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, so this dog fucking. Yeah, but she, she has no choice because then she'll lose the other joint, and then my brother lives at that joint. But she's moving anyway. Yeah, and I thought your brother's leaving too. No, the so other brother left. He lives with his girlfriend, but the other brother wouldn't have a place. 
I thought you said they both moved out. That's what you told us at the beginning of the yeah, story. Yeah, you started with they both moved out. No, my out. mother moved out, actually. Sorry, one of my brothers and my mother moved out. Your mother moved out? Yep. Where does your Hold mom live? Where with her boyfriend. Well, what the oh, fuck? Oh, she abandoned the dog. She abandoned the kids <laughs> and <Yeah>. the dog. <laughs> High five. Yeah, she abandoned Double everyone. Double She's probably getting it. God She's living damn. life. Oh, no wonder the story didn't make sense. She pulled Your mother the abandoned the dog and the... Okay. She that pulled the gus. She abandoned. Hold on. So the dog is not okay. allowed where it used to live. The dog is not allowed to live in the new place where she lives. They don't allow dogs. Both places. The other place? No, the old place. Yes. The, the dog no, lives no, for years. No. Yes, but she wasn't barking as much. Uh, they can't. There's nothing they could do, bro. They could try. By the time they kick your mom out, it'll be two years from now. But it, it's mostly my brother that kind of kicked my mother out because he was like he was taking over a lot of places. He was complaining a lot that uh, his uh, my mother would uh, get into his affairs. Okay, he was having like, a lot Talmud, of affairs. No, like tell him what to do and shit, and he didn't like it. He's a grown ass man now and shit yeah. and blah blah blah. And uh, so it's kind of more like my brother kicked my mother out. So why didn't you? But your so my mother took it as an opportunity. Now that she's uh, dating, so I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just gonna dip. Yeah, so leave okay. the apartment to my dog. brother. Yeah, no, but you, hold on. The, but the way, hold on. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. The way you guys you make it seem, you yeah. can't move yeah. and give your dog away at the, and yeah. at the same time be like, uh, and I'm pretend like here. it's what the fuck? She kidnapped my dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but uh, because the agreement between them both was it's temporary until. Yeah, that's the agreement of two people who aren't thinking. Yeah. Too you make, you make an excellent point. There's literally no thought in that. Yeah. In that. No one. I'm giving it to you temporarily. It's like I'm going to pick it up. To, no, it's going to live there yeah. until me and my boyfriend find a new place to live because I just moved out of the current place to live because my son. Bro, it's so convoluted. It is in, <laughs> Quebec, a mess. in Quebec, rents renew July 1st. That's what I'm saying. We're very far from July 1st. So this lady. I personally, my educated guess. Do you, your mom and her boyfriend are not moving out before the, before the before summer? Before July. Really? Yeah. 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 Educated guests yeah. knowing them. And you know them too. That's why you said really in a fake way. You said really. Like that was a yeah. fuck. I know. Yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah. But, uh, the, <laughs> you knew, no? But the thing is, I, 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 I've i normally if been. If she loved the dog for real though, she'd, she'd take the dog and then bring him to the boyfriends. And then they get with kicked out. Yeah. Oh, she can't. It's an old folks home. But the, she what? can wait. How does he live in an old folks' home? If, if he, uh, bro, don't ask, bro. I don't know, uh, bro. <laughs> it's comp, bro. It's an old folks' do, home. Do you understand me when I tell you I does don't get involved wear, in my family's affairs anymore? I don't have to help wear anymore. One of those costumes, like those uh, bodybuilder guys <laughs> wear on Facebook, to go into a gym and do like pull-ups. <laughs> this is this is ludicrous. So do you understand why I don't her talk? My forty-year-old boyfriend lives in an old folks' home. Nah. Okay. Do you think he might be 70 and just lied? Nah. Okay. I'm so pissed off now because the, the dog is the victim in all of this. Exactly, but that's why I was pissed off too. No, you weren't. You were pissed off because the lady wouldn't let you. Yes, but I, I, can't be, I can't be angry at my mother. She feels bad too. I can't just yell at her so too. So don't abandon the dog. Yeah. She abandoned the dog. That's why she but feels bad. The only one that makes sense in this story is the dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only thing the I've heard so far that I was like, I get it. Was the parking? Yeah, <laughs> I was you're like, alone. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. lonely. Yeah, yeah, you're alone. And the thing is, where she lives, the old apartment, they don't have uh, too much sympathy Fuck, for the dog I, because they're Muslims. They live in they live in an old folks home. Old people are deaf. They're not gonna hear. Hmm. She should because my dog for like a, two years when it wasn't allowed, I would sneak her in so nobody yeah. would see. She should live with me. Yeah. And yeah. go. You like, make sacrifices. She should for even your child. buy. You know, on uh, Amazon, they sell fake alarm systems, like little shitty alarm systems. That if you touch the door doorknob, it uh, there's Brings. a fake bark. Oh yeah. So you mm. should you should buy a fake bark thing. Leave the yappy dog all day, and then they go. Yeah, we got uh, we got complaints. Oh yeah, it's my alarm system. It's a it's a fake dog bark. Oh, it's just oh yeah. that's clever. Yeah, that means that you guys were trying to break in. Yeah. But also we have <laughs> that's funny. But also we have a. Uh, so do you know the collars that dogs wear when they bark too much? Yeah, it shoots a little spray that the, they don't like the smell. It's like lemon. Yeah. It's yeah, citrusy. Yeah. Yeah. We have methods. that. That's not a torture thing. I said torture it's method. It's citronella. Yeah, citronella. There you go. Delicious. But, uh, but it's a. Uh, it's, uh, it shoots it in their eyes. Yeah. No, no, no. In front of their nose. It, it and shoots up their it from ass, here. Yeah. <laughs> no, because it shoot, cause they don't like the smell. Yeah. But and your then, dog but, loves but that it's, smell. Uh, but it's a. Uh, no, no. It's um, a humane method of dealing with uh, dogs that bark a lot. Yeah. More humane than abandoning. Uh, yeah. and, abandoning. And, and more th than that and shocking them. But the thing is, yeah. my mother, every time you put that collar on, my dog does the puppy eyes. And my mother feels bad. So she always removes it. But like you're supposed to leave that on yeah. if your dog barks a lot. 
but it's the most humane method that they yeah. discovered that you so know, why why didn't uh because she, i don't know she feels bad every time she puts I it on know, it's like i feel terrible which is why i'm abandoning the dog yeah <laughs> Look, she's hilarious. I, I love this. We never said so much. I'm gonna leave him at the SPCA. We never. <laughs> we and never. Then I'll go back in a week. Go. What do you mean you gave him to someone else? Yeah. yeah. We never said she has sound logic. We never yeah. said that. I'm God just saying because uh, I I've I've yelled at her in the past. She as well. doesn't even have logic. Yeah. There's no like, logic. There's no the dog bad is logic. the victim here. I feel so bad. I for have dog. told her because the dog. I love the side of the way. I'll give him one thing. He is hilarious. The way he was telling the story in the beginning, he avoided yeah. the her moving out. Yeah. And, uh, and everything, so it just seemed like just wow, that lady kidnapped. Bitch kidnapped. And he started this with this dog napping. Crazy. A lady came and yeah. took the dog, and, and it ended with yeah, mom abandoned her kids and the dog. And he <laughs> said this crazy. She's a crazy. She bitch. seems like the nice. She's taking care yeah. of the dog this that your mom abandoned. Well, she was until she hero. held it hostage. If she didn't hold it hostage, the dog's living fine. No, because it was sad. I was crying. What are you talking about? The dog was crying because she. How would your mom know the dog's crying if she's not allowed to see her? If she's not there. The dog is only crying when your mom's there. When your mom's leaving. So the lady's like, I don't want this dog to cry anymore. She's happy all the time. He's happy. Yeah. Let the dog be happy. The dog's happy. Every time you fucking come, you fuck shit up. I'm gonna, I, either you take it so the dog's happy or you leave with me to be happy. Why would I fuck with the dog's emotions every day and make her sad? Make an excellent point. I make an excellent yeah. point. Yes, I'm the dog whisperer. <laughs> your mom though this is how fucked up this is how much you stressed throughout your whole life in one fell swoop she's like I'm abandoning everyone I'm going with this guy like yeah. I, she's meant to she's like fuck everyone yeah. your you, mom, you ruined her bro how is this my fault now your mom is like you know in movies when people leave their old life and they walk away and they throw a match and yeah. the house catches that's on fire that's what she did that's what she did <laughs> That's if she, she could burn your fucking brothers alive, she would have. There's an explosion behind her, and she's just walking. Yeah, <laughs> my brother dipped. Uh, the youngest one, he dipped a while ago. Yeah, he, the he felt it. He's like, you're not abandoning me, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna do it first. He he was one of those guys like, you breaking up with me? No, no, no I'm breaking yeah. up with you. That's what he did. <laughs> Fuck. And the other brother has taken over the uh, the old apartment. Obviously, that guy. But that guy's a shit kid too, because I wouldn't kick my mom and the dog out. I'd be like, no, no, stay here. We're gonna yeah. make it work. That's uh, anyways. Uh, at least everyone's happy. Uh, bro, I don't, but look, dog, look, I don't have. I don't, even, I don't even have. This mom. I don't even have all the details. I'm just. You saying, have none of the details. You have none of the details. <laughs> just and, but the overall is insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's nuts. The whole bro, like what like it's nuts. Do you see, do you understand what I mean by like I have a hard time dealing with Guido it's and the other the, and, and Adam. I'm so happy we got. I got you to move out a few years ago. Because if not, you, you would have been abandoned by yeah. both your parents in one <laughs> lifetime. Yeah. Thank God. That would have fucking set you off. Oh, good thing. <laughs> but no, I would have been happy that. <laughs> no, you would have been like both of them. Yeah. Is it me? The first Am one the twice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much younger is the younger brother? The youngest one or the young, or the middle one? The youngest one. The one that uh, dipped he's, first. Uh, he's 22. Okay, and you're 29 now, so seven years. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That would have been embarrassing that your little brother moves out before you do, and he's seven years younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but didn't happen. Okay, so that dog. So what's the story now? What's gonna happen with the dog? Dog belongs to the new. I I look honestly. I'm too tired to get involved, bro. Okay, I thought we only know about this because now involved. we're all involved. Now we're all involved. Yeah, I'm emotionally know, but invested. The people but the thing is, but the people listening are emotionally invested. They want to know what's going to happen to the dog. But the thing is, she told. Okay, sh- uh, first of all, okay, my mother is uh, uh, a sneaky lady. Sometimes, okay. Um, sometimes I'll call just to check She's up. Pretty overt, but I'll go on. <laughs> so uh, sometimes I'll like call and like check up and shit. And what she'll do is she'll ambush you with new details. <laughs> so you'll you'll like like you do, yeah. You uh, have the same method of I speaking. Do. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. What do you mean? You have the same My method mom's dog got kidnapped yeah. then three seconds later. <laughs> yeah, so she moved. Yeah, yeah. So you have moved. the same method. You you learned language yeah. from her. No, no, what she, what she does is like so like I called because um to say I love you. To say hey, what's up and everything and check up. And then she started like, Oh, you'll never believe what happened. Oh ah! I'm like I'm like, what? I love the screaming, it adds to it. I'm like, what? And then she's like Oh, this thing with the dog. And then she got me invested. And then she revealed the other information first, kind of like I did. So I freaked out <laughs> and uh, got angry. So she lied to you? <laughs> yeah. And then you lied to us. Yeah. yeah so, so it's all lies. It's all lies. No, it's not all lies. This fucking family. 
Poseidon. No, but it's still hold on. You have to admit it's still fucked up. Pseudo Poseidon. That 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 uh, that she wouldn't let her see the dog, like your own dog. I wouldn't let. I wouldn't let. I'd be like, God damn, you're safe now, dog. Yeah, yeah. In the context of what you, the full context. It, the woman's doing oh, the right thing. Hold on, we're also worried because uh, she doesn't believe in like modern medicine. This lady, I forgot to uh, mention. So she's this. not giving the dog Advil anymore. So hold on, hold on. She doesn't believe in like. Uh, sh- first of all, she criticizes veterinarians. Like veterinarians are bad people to her. Okay, I don't. I don't she call has, them bad people, but I criticize them too. They've tried to fuck me over. Yeah, but hold on. But she doesn't believe they in like my in like dad. modern science and shit. And uh, she's accidentally killed two of her past dogs because she tried to like nourish them back to health. Like. With her breast na- milk? In, no, in the natural way. Breast milk. So she, she has like a few but dogs a lady, buried in the backyard. A lady that so has we're 11 also dogs will have some that die. Yes, yeah. I, no, no, I understand. Especially if she only gets dogs that are like 14 years old. No, yeah. no, they were young. They were young when they died. How do you know that? Because uh, I know the story. I know the story. She, None of these stories seem real. Yeah. And they always change. So you don't know what you're talking they about. They, I know what I'm talking about. Whatever they told you. You uh, mind your own business. <laughs> you <laughs> gave <laughs> us your business. You're the one who told us your business. God, so yeah, so we're, lies. So we're also worried that, you know, something bad, like she might get hurt, pass away. Listen, or like, let me tell you something. Get so that's sick. a load of fucking bullshit. It's not. If I'm worried, bro, that some lady's going to kill my fucking dog, I'm not giving her my fucking dog. Yeah. You know how crazy that is? Yeah. Well, no, she yeah, wasn't your worried. Your mom must have known about the, the dogs dying. She did, yes. So, so why what are you, you talking about? You all lunatics. That's like, look, my neighbor Bill, who's been to court four times for pedophilia, not guilty <laughs> every time. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna take care of uh, Jimmy for yeah. a couple yeah. of weeks. I uh, hold on. I say the same arguments. No, say, you no, argued you us. You just argued us. On no, no. Them. But hold on. I give the same argument. I'm just explaining to you the situation. Do you, give your, do you say the same arguments when you tell yourself on your way here? This is what they're gonna say. And then I'll have nothing. No, <laughs> no, because I've given her the same arguments. Like I'm just saying the story as it is. You know, I'm also trying to defend her a little bit in the yeah. uh, because lot. she's my mother. I know, but yeah. in this case, indefensible. Yeah. Um. But you know, but like, uh, or it anyways. is defensible if she if she's like, you know what, I love this dog, but because I've chosen the boyfriend and I've chosen a yeah. new life, I can't take care of. I rather she's happy. No, she could take I'm care. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. That's to me. I'm like, should. okay, that's a adult. Thing yeah. like I rather no. I don't want the dog to be alone and stuff. I want to live with this guy. Like I'm focusing on my shit. I, I, the yeah. dog's gonna focus on her shit. I'm giving. I'm not. I'm not gonna give the SPC to kill her. I'm gonna give it to a home with other no. dogs. I, even though it sucks the separation, I can understand. I'd be like, you know what? She wants no. the dog to be happy. She's giving her the whole in and out, and yeah. then like bad, uh, like leaving, and then be like, I didn't leave. Yeah, you did, and all that. That gets yeah. annoying. But if she had just been like, you know what? Like a bandit, rip it off. The dog's gonna live the rest of her days happy. That's and like if your girlfriend left you and would come back, and then every once she'd in a while. call you every four days, going, Hey, do you want me to come over? Hey, I'm and then some, leave for a week, yeah. and then same thing. You bro, that would drive you crazy. Yeah, I think the the most. The, the best thing your mom could have done, because this lady might be a crazy lady, instead of giving it to a crazy lady with 19 kids, put a fucking ad on Marketplace looking for family that yeah. wants a dog. I'll give you my dog for free. He's super nice. Yeah. Asians, yeah. Asians only. <laughs> I know. So that's Are we making any sense or no? Yeah, but no, uh, but no, you, we're tr- not. you try. No, no, hold on. You try to say that to my mother that is super attached to the dog. But I, she's not. She's that not attached. that attached. No, no, she is because she's. She looking. wouldn't have given. I it wouldn't up. have never given yeah. up the apartment. I would Do you have. Imagine I'm saying him? me. I'm because I'm he super fucking, attached. He's attached. That's what being attached. Yeah, I was dog hiding is. the dog for two years, so that. Yeah, but she well, can't hide get, the I'm dog. Saying, that's the issue. And she I, could try. She though. could try. She could. She like, has. It's been years. No, in the new place. But I'm saying I wouldn't have moved out of the old place where I know that I could keep it if I'm there. That's what I'm saying. I would have brought that guy there. She should have gotten the boyfriend and move in with her. Yeah. And and then. Instead of uh, abandoning the dog and Look, there's one some, of the kids. There's some details I'm missing here because I haven't for gotten sure, involved. For sure, he doesn't know all the details. I don't know all the details. So there's some stuff. Because uh, I, I, I guarantee you he would have to sit there for like three hours yes. and ask like, wait a second. Yeah. What about this? What, in order to get a- the Exactly. Whole story. So there's some stuff. Because she omits like him. Like yeah. they both omit. Yeah. There's, I'm missing like a lot of stuff. So I yeah, don't know what sure. came in order and what came yeah, first. Yeah. I guarantee so, you, there's yeah. stuff she didn't tell him. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I'm like, I'm just as lost as you guys. Yeah. So the way I see it is just like, fuck, like you know, yeah. this whole it situation. It does suck. It, the whole yeah, situation yeah, exactly. Sucks, but I'm just saying, um, it, it's because she's in that situation. Talk yeah. to her about it. If she can't and she's taking too long, at least let the dog live. Like a guy like Yan, Yan that does Suzy Kut, he fucking loves dogs and yeah. he doesn't have a dog. 
Because he doesn't have time for it. Oh yeah. No, no, he wants a dog now. He wants a dog. Fucking Yen, bro. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I, I've dog. always loved dogs, but I would be a terrible owner for dogs because no, no, I would n- I'm never home. Yen, dog Yen, to Yen. Yen has a house with a and yard. Yen works oh, at works. home, and he he only leaves one day a week for Suzekut, but then he could bring the dog with him to with him and drop him off at his daughter's house for, for the day. Yeah, or for the night, and then he brings him. Uh, yeah, might know. actually be a good dog dad. Yeah, He'd I'd have to talk to my mom. Dog dad. I'd have to talk to my mom, see what she wants, what she, what she's talk gonna do. Talk to the real owner. Talk to the new lady. Yeah, <laughs> you know, go right to the source. <laughs> yeah, why are you? Yeah, yeah. Why would you talk to your why mom? Are you you asking? Have a dog? That's like yeah. yeah. Well, because it's still her dog. If I needed, if it's I, still if my I, mom's dog. If me and you were two gay men, yes. and I wanted your hand in marriage, and I wanted to be. Like ask your parents I wouldn't ask your dad He wasn't around I would oh, ask yeah. your mom Yeah yeah You're right You're right, yeah. you're right. Mm. Your get, mom you Is married? this dog's <laughs> Yeah your mom Is this dog's Your dad Yeah Is basically what he's saying Yeah Think, think of you think, think of you Do you think your mom Goes to see your dog Just to tell him that she's gonna open up uh, a restaurant no, somewhere she, in no, the country. No, she takes it. But hold on, hold on. It's because it's okay. Whether the dog, li- okay. Because here's here's the thing. I'm if going the to dog- New York because there's money there. Dog. <laughs> hold on, hold on. If the <laughs> hey, dog, <laughs> hey, dog. <laughs> if the dog lived, if the dog lived at my mom's place, or this lady's place, it would be the same thing because my mother would still come home, and and uh, and uh, feed her, take care of her, take her out to poop. Because that's what my mother does. Yeah. She she still goes and takes care of her from A to Z. Everything. You know, just when she's gone. So this dog doesn't poop for 19 hours? No, no. She, like, she will. But, like, she, she'll she go, like, in the day, like, in between breaks. And she, she works around the city. Like, she's, the, you know. Anyways. So. This must be the worst fucking life for this poor lady <laughs> that has someone showing up every 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, bro. And then the dog's barking. And oh, you're yeah. Like, that is God weird. damn. You no. fucking asked me to fucking take care of your dog. And now you're just making my life miserable. No, when my mother shows up, she doesn't bark. No, yeah, no, but your mom obviously after. she's a human being. She's not gonna start barking. It's just the fact that she's no, 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 no. Not my mother barks, but the, the dog doesn't bark. Up. But imagine you. Wouldn't you be annoyed yeah. if there's this fucking lady coming? You, you, you want to chill with your underwear and your dog and play your video games? You know, you and then sh- this lady's coming in, grabbing the dog. The dog's bark. You'd be going crazy. Yeah, but the other lady is you cool should, with it. She was cool with I it. I don't think so. If she was cool nah, with it, she wouldn't kidnap yeah. the dog. You know what you should do because ah, you're afraid that ah, the check and mate. <laughs> your mom, your mom is gonna get angry and start yelling. Get your mom one of those uh, citronella <laughs> necklaces. <laughs> no, my mother was sad. I'll tell you something. We're not mad at you because this is a fun topic because it's yeah. not every day. This is a complicated yeah. issue. This, this is, is very complicated. It's yeah. not a two-drink minimum you see, problem. Hold on. Do you see why I don't get involved anymore? Definitely yeah. not a two-drink minimum level problem, but a hilarious Poseidon level problem. Yes. I like it. I like yeah. it. So but uh, yeah, at least your mom, you know, it's the worst thing that people used to do. And, and I think they still do this. I grew up on a farm. Slavery? And they'd, no, they... <laughs> They'd uh, leave their cats in my yard, cause they'd be like, "Oh, they they have animals. They like animals." So, oh, like uh, give it away. Like, oh, at, that's fucked at up. Least, but cats are easy. At though. least three, four times a year, there'd be a box in the driveway, and we'd open it up, and there'd be a cat or four cats or that's whatever. Oh, three, four times a year. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. fucked up. We, okay. we had we always had more than twenty cats that lived in the barn. And then my dad would, would f- like feed them twice a day. In Tunisia, they're everywhere. Greece, there's cats and dogs everywhere. And they, they live their lives. They, they eat. They, mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but the cats in Greece are gangster, though. Yeah, in Tunisia, too. They're every, it's not like here. They, they don't, here, they would round them up. Here, they treated them like uh, like escaped slaves. Like, uh, here yeah. they, it's true. Here, they found yeah. animals here. They, yeah, they castrate them. They kill them in the SPC. The SPC is not always good, but the SPC yeah, is kind of yeah. fucked up. Mm. In Greece, at least now, that's what I noticed because there's a lot of laws. If they capture, torture an animal, they, they go crazy. But also, so it's, nice, about. it's nice weather for animals, like cats, they're to be outside out. all the, the time. The saddest thing, I've never gotten people that do this. Like, uh, if your cat, you want to abandon your cat, you figure I'll leave him it, in a farm. He'll be free or whatever. You can do that. It's a weird thing to do, but... When you do that for a cat that's been declawed, oh, do you fuck? Yeah, they're that fucking like they can't I, hunt. My yeah. uh, my, the first house I bought, my wife used to always feed the the. We had this weird lady two doors over that had like eleven cats or fourteen cats, and they'd always escape. But they they'd escape, but then they just stay in the neighborhood. So my wife started feeding them so that they wouldn't have to go back to that crazy lady's house. And a, a lot of them didn't, were declawed. Like I saw a cat ah. once fuck up another cat. He only had the back claws 
And he was just fighting. Like, it was a very bizarre way to fight. But just he, with his back claws. Yeah, he was still able to defend himself. And I was like, God damn, this motherfucker is gangster. I heard they're stopping the decline thing soon, eh? Because it used to be like a common thing. Yeah. But now they're yeah. like, oof, maybe we Because of up. the furniture, yeah. What? That, the furniture. That's why people were doing it. That's yeah, that's why, why the people would declaw the, the, the cats. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> You think okay? I did you think at first when you heard because it was a furniture, you thought it was a furniture lobby that were like we're gonna sell more couches. Yeah, that's <laughs> I was like, what if these fucking dirty cats can oh, break everything? Speaking of furniture, do you know how dumb Leon's is? How dumb, bro? Uh, I'm gonna change the subject because uh, Poseidon's getting stressed out too, but he's gonna love this. This is a Poseidon situation. Poseidon, listen to this. See, I'm listening. So uh, I needed for a while, like uh, you know, living room, like a TV stand, just to upgrade, just to have a, a better TV stand. This one's breaking. So uh, and uh, a little dresser in the bedroom. So I go on online at Leon's and I accident. I, I placed the order. The only thing I did by accident is I ordered two dressers instead of one. Oh. So I send a message and I say, hey, can you just get rid of one refund one uh, and the rest of the order is good. Uh, I go to the chat bot. They didn't know what's going on. <laughs> so then they finally call me yesterday. They call me up. Well, it's the studio. They called me up and he's like, yeah, uh, we're just confirming the order. We're going to bring it on Friday. Okay, just for the order. Uh, I ordered by accident an extra dresser. I don't need it. Can you just, before you send it, can you just cancel that and be giving you the order? He's like, I can't do that. He goes, but once I send you an email confirmation in a few minutes that the order's through, um, then you call the place in Dorval, uh, Leon's, and th they could do it easy. They're just going to cancel and refund you. And I said, okay. And then I start to live with it in my head. I go... They're probably going to not cancel anything, send me everything, but I'll find a way. It wasn't the end of the world. I'll find a place for the dresser. Yeah. So the guy's like, in three minutes, you're getting confirmation. Call them. I go, okay, I wait. I get an email confirmation. The email confirmation was, we've canceled your full order. <laughs> 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 Sounds like a furniture store. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? Well, I guess who's no, not no. getting my business? <laughs> like, they're the dumbest <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking dumbest. They're so stupid. Yeah. They're uh. so fucking stupid. Uh, they probably have because they're a furniture store. They probably have garbage uh, point of sale systems. That's yeah, why. like I look and then uh, my credit card. Oh. Like they took the money out. I guess they ref they're gonna refund the whole thing. Like you know it's pending order. And I was like, what the fuck? What a bunch of idiots. There was a um, fuck. There was a company that I worked for that you had to refund everything. Like you had to like if you had to basically it was made so complicated for people to uh, to uh, to uh, like get refunded that you would have to like cancel the whole order and the bill and shit and then they'd have to repay right. it seems like something I even like offered that. I even told on the phone mm. is it easier if I cancel everything and then rebuy He's like no of course not he goes I'm just going to confirm everything and then the second you get the confirmation email call them up and uh, just tell them to remove that one the refund they're like easy and then he just canceled everything yeah that's a terrible that's a terrible yeah. and I now they lost the full order I'm going to go look at another maybe Broad Martin I'm going to go look somewhere else yeah but it's just so stupid just go to Ikea no, no, no. That's what I had first. I it breaks down, bro. Yeah. No, oh, hold shit. on. Hold on. I have an Ikea dresser. Yeah. Well, had. I sold it. I had an Ikea dresser. Okay, so stop talking. You don't have it. But hold on. It, it, it still Ikea matters. Ikea dressers are, are very solid if you never move them. Exactly. As soon as you move it once, it's it done. becomes fucking wild. Like yeah. in my bedroom, I still have Ikea furniture, but I had to fucking put X's in the back. Like I, I put pieces of wood to make them like I had to rebuild my fucking Ikea furniture yeah that's yeah. funny uh, fuck yeah. that but because I, I I had the one that I lived when I lived at my mom's place I took it to the new place and it was fine I don't yeah. know what fine is though I have to see your fine my fine might be different yeah. oh the only different thing is standards. because of water damage at the bottom some of the wood had the but the, it's still fine yeah. like there's, there's just we yeah, have two different fines and, and, and the back the back thing there's that no uh, back. that held it close together was uh, removed it yeah. wasn't removed, but it was flapping a yeah, little bit. it's not fine. Yeah. It's not fine. But it's the drawers fine. worked fine. It's not fine. And it wasn't wobbly. It wasn't wobbly at all. It's not fine. It wasn't wobbly at all. So you could have just said it's a garbage thing. Like, see, my thing that I solidified, the the rails stopped working, so I took the rails out. So <laughs> now I I put I I can still open and close the drawers. No rails. But it, it's like in the old days, because in the old days, old furniture didn't have rails. Yeah. It was just solid wood. But it was good wood. Yeah. It was good wood and it Thick. was varnished. Mm. But now fucking Ikea wood is just fucking garbage wood. And there's no varnish. So, like, my, I just have to accept that my bottom drawer is just full of shavings. Yeah, it's just done. Yeah. The issue is that they use wood-chipped wood. 
So what they do is they get yeah. all, they take wood chips and it's they mash it together. Yeah. yeah, they mash it together to, to, to together. Give. Together. <laughs> together. Let's let's start a let's get let's yeah. get uh, Jason to edit that and just make a song. <laughs> together, together. <laughs> you know how we think though. I'm cutting you off because okay, uh, okay. you're going nowhere. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, you know how we think like like modern furniture is garbage, but in the old days, like people knew what they were doing. Yeah, I I have um. A thing in my country house that was a dresser that my great 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 I don't know how many and they weren't that great but like they were all right uh, from the 1800s I yeah. bought and it was just cardboard that was painted. God damn. Yeah, it, it was. It's a it's a garbage gar and you, you can't tell like when you when I first got it I was like this is fucking nice my dad was like this is garbage. But you open it, and the inside was cardboard. So it was probably whenever they discovered cardboard for the first like, this time. This is awesome. They're like, God damn, if we squish paper together and fucking paint it, it's kind of, it's kind of like wood. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no, so, yeah, I, yeah. so anyways, I needed the, like those two applies. Like I need new ones, you know, because yeah. it's fucked up. So uh, that's what happened. That's what happened with Leon's. They yeah. sent me my money back, so I don't know where we're going now. Uh, go to the brick on Acadie. Remember when we had the situation with the brick? Should I go back to the brick? Remember we got to fight with them? That was in Laval. It depends, like what a dresser. Uh, there's uh, the uh, structub or structube or uh, I don't know how you say it in English okay. is uh, r- inexpensive and good quality for everything except for uh, couches. Okay. Wait, is Structube? Oh, Structube is the place where they try to sell me a couch by piece. Do you remember this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This was the funniest (laughs) thing ever. Like, I would like the. It wasn't even a couch. It was a seat. It was a seat to have in in in, uh, my office. Just a little seat so anybody could sit. I didn't need to spend a lot, and uh, so I had a price tag on it. It was like I don't know, ninety-seven bucks, one hundred fifty bucks, whatever it was. So I'm like, I want this. Like, okay. So he goes to cash bro, scans it, and I was like, okay, and then kept scanning, scanning this. Scan that, scan like five, six items, and it, it was like a couple hundred bucks after. It was like four, five hundred bucks. And I go, bro, what are you doing? Why are you scanning other shit? I just want that couch. He's like, yeah. He's like, the, the, the couch, sorry, the seat. He's like, yeah, the seat comes in pieces. So one leg costs this much, the other leg costs this, the hand costs. And I look at him, I go, are you fucking kidding me? That's Who's retarded. buying one leg? Who? This is the most retarded thing I ever saw yeah. in my life. He's like, that's how it's done. I go, I'm not fucking buying. Are you got me? $600. Yeah. I just, a little, it's a little seat. Are you fucking crazy? Yeah. I go to him, who sells it piecemeal? Oh. Yeah, this was on Jean Talon. Uh, you should look at the uh, Kijiji. No, also. No, no don't don't get used. No, no, I'm not gonna get used. I want someone to bring it new there. Yeah. No problems. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna find because there, you can find is some some uh, there. I got lucky during the pandemic. I bought like really cool steel uh, uh, kitchen chairs. Nice. Uh, it was a guy that his uh, because of the pandemic his um, his business uh, his furniture business went bankrupt. And he had like all kinds of stock and shit. So that's for good like news. super cheap. That's great news. So you can yeah. find something like that. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go to another store. See what happens. So go how on. did you find him? You were driving Kijiji. on the bridge, and he was. No, <laughs> <laughs> no he had <laughs> like, ads. Sir, before you jump, before you jump, what's that dresser next? No, to but he, did, he, he rent he rented a like a a warehouse. Uh, no, no, no. Um, you know what this sounds unit? like? Yeah, there you go. Big storage unit. And this man did not have a furniture store. Mm, nope. This man stole a truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah. That sounds. That sounds so fucking. You describe truck that. Yeah. <laughs> Allegedly, bro. <laughs> Allegedly. And then I saw him four months after his fucking TV business went out of. Yeah. His TV store went out of business. Do you know him well? He's my father. <laughs> <laughs> the man of business. <laughs> oh, uh, we didn't say it last time, but because you flew, so I, I gotta know. Yeah. Have you seen a lot of people going? Uh, this is the thing that fucked me on the planes. People going to the bathroom barefoot. Oh, what the I didn't fuck? see anyone. Uh, I saw multiple people, and every time I was getting more angry, oh, and more disgusting. disgusting. There's that's piss disgusting. everywhere in that bathroom, yeah. and they're going in. So I see people with socks, and I'm like, "This is dis-. they're gonna put their socks in their shoes. That's carrying with them." And then I start seeing barefoot people. I go, "What is wrong with you, yeah. animals? 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 Yeah. The excuse is, you know, I'm tired. It's an inter- so I take off my shoes. Okay, put your shoes on when you go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Am I the only one who thinks it's disgusting? No, everyone thinks that's disgusting. That's just, but then no, why do people disgusting. that do it? Yeah. Because they're they're animals. Animals, but they don't know how to live. Yeah, that's nah, that's unacceptable. I don't even remove my shoes in, in uh like even if I'm uncomfortable, like I will not remove my fucking shoes. I, I get my foot out of them, but I, I leave them in them. So you could be comfy. Yeah. 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 So so my yeah. uh, so I'm kinda, you know, halfway in. 
Well, if I'm sitting in a normal chair, I can't do it anyway because there's no room for me. Yeah. But if I have some leg room, I normally don't take. Like I started wearing comfy running shoes just so I could be. I think the most peace. I've ever done is untie my shoelaces. That's it, just to be more comfortable. I think that's the most, and that too, I was like, Ugh. No, I was I was really happy though because I, I, I have a bunch of Aeroplan points. You know the Air, uh, Air Canada yeah. whatever frequent flyer program. And uh, the, the, they changed a couple of years ago. It was really worthwhile. But now it's fucking garbage. You don't get, you don't get flights. You used to get like first class flights, uh, Montreal, Europe for like 25,000 points or 50,000 points. But now it's like 300,000 points. So it's impossible. And the, the, like I don't have that many points. But I realized uh, now what they do, you can pay half in points, half money and they're super cheap so i got when i went to florida i got a first class ticket day of like if i would have bought first class ticket day of it would have cost me like three four thousand cost me three hundred dollars three hundred dollars and like twenty thousand points which is nothing twenty thousand points i i like i get that uh in two months on my credit card oh god damn yeah 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 yeah, so it was super cheap. That's super amazing. Cheap. Yeah, you could fly anywhere. Yeah, I uh, when I realized that, like, uh, for uh, Olivier's fight in uh, November. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm gonna instead of paying for tickets, I'm gonna like half, half pay, half use points. Holy, yeah, because you you accumulated points. Yeah, I have like th- like three or four hundred thousand. You can't give oh, the damn. official location yet, though. Eh? No, 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 we can't. Okay, no, and even uh, the Olivier is pretending like he doesn't know, but he's oh, he the knows. one who told me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I'm kind of glad though that it wasn't the other option overseas because it was like mm. a nightmare. Though, oh, and I got uh, when you were out of town, I bought a table for um, for uh, Kim Clavel's next fight. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. In December. Yeah. Uh, in Laval, Place Belle. Yeah. yeah. Holy fuck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be good. It's a unification WBO and WBC uh, flyweight championship. She's close, bro. She's she she went to Laval to check out. I saw her photos. I gotta get her on the French cast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to ask yeah. her. She'd be good. She's questions. funny. Yeah, she's yeah. Very no, funny. I, I saw it with uh, Jean Thomas. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's no, funny. I'm... She's a nice. She's a really sweet girl. Yeah, that's why it's fun to see yeah. her punch people in the face. Yeah, and she's <laughs> five feet tall. It's crazy yeah, how she's much tiny. How much violence uh, is in that little body? <laughs> oh, there's violence is everywhere. Yeah. His dad's a little man. He was hitting yeah. people with nunchucks. Yo, I oh the other day I was at my dad's. Oh, well, the other day, a while ago, like a few months ago, I was at my dad's place and he made makeshift nunchucks. I love your dad, bro, because he he goes. I went to go buy nunchucks. He goes, and they don't make them like they used to. So I swear to God, oh, he wants to make nunchucks great again. He bought. <laughs> 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 He's he a ninja like, version of Maga. He, yeah. he like he like bought two pieces of wood, His Naga uh, makeshift, yeah. attached a really powerful chain. He goes, and he put a screw that goes all the way through on on the other piece of the wood, and then he attached like a piece of metal on the other end, so it acts as like another blunt force weapon. Jesus and the chain is super Christ, strong, is so like violent. so like he can. Fu- he goes, if I hit somebody, it won't break off. Because he goes, the other ones you could hit somebody and they would break off. Who is your dad angering? <laughs> I don't know, bro. How that's crazy? Because I watched last week. I said I watched a series uh, of uh, uh, Dahmer, and he was the craziest murderer I've ever seen in my life. And he's less violent. Than yeah, that. <laughs> like he, at least he was just fucking hitting people with a drill. Yeah. I watched Cobra Kai, and they mostly yeah. use their hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're all lunatics. By the way, Cobra Kai, I don't know what season it is now, but I started watching the latest one. That show should just be called Misunderstanding. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's fighting over misunderstandings. Yeah. Why are you on that side? I'm not on that side. I saw you talking to them. Let's fight. <laughs> like, oh, bro, just talk it out. Talk it out. Yeah. The, the, the yeah. latest season, though, I'm happy that uh, uh, the blonde guy, I forget what his name the is. The long haired guy? No, the. the Oh, the main guy. The, the main Cobra guy. Kai guy. Yeah, the yeah Cobra I like him. Kai. He, he, he's amazing. In he's this hilarious. Yeah, yeah. When he's Ubering. Yeah. Yeah, it's so funny. Yeah. He's bringing people cold stuff, one starring. Yeah. I love it. That's funny. Oh, you hear that siren? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think your truck? mom stole her dog? <laughs> <laughs> you should. You, I hope they're they're driving with that siren on. And they're calling someone. They're like, "What is this?" <laughs> you know, it was fucked up this week. Like when I was in uh, Florida, we didn't talk about it much uh, last week. But uh, 
Um, I have I have a friend that had told me years ago, when you have too many things, everything breaks, and mm. then it just gets annoying. And that's how I felt with my fucking like I have three houses right now, and but I've only been at the Longueuil house, and it sounds weird complaining about having three houses. But uh, when when I went to my country house, uh, when you went to Greece, I was like, I'll go relax, and I went to the country house, and fucking the four wheeler didn't work. And uh, I had a couple of things, and I had to fix everything myself. And then I was like, I'm sick of this fucking bullshit. <laughs> so Fuck they don't it. work because they weren't getting the usage it's supposed to? Yeah, yeah. Because like, uh, like, uh, it's like someone that has five cars. The, there's one car you use that works fine, but the other ones are all fucking shit. Yeah. And my friend had told me uh, years ago, he was like, if you buy another house, uh, don't... Like, he, he was talking about, like, a country house. He was like... Don't get a motorboat. Don't get a fucking. Don't get a four wheeler. Don't just buy a bike. Buy a fucking canoe. Buy shit that doesn't else break. break. Yeah, and I was like, what a fucking idiot. That Hippie. <laughs> yeah, fucking communist. Whatever you say, but, fag. And you hang <laughs> but then I was like, fuck, and I was trying to fix a four wheeler when you when you when you're not a mechanic is fucking hard as shit. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. And I, I had... got to call a real man. And there was no... Like, usually there's YouTube tutorials, but now I had Daniel Grenier on the phone, and he was like, yeah, you open it up, and you turn a screw. And then I was like... I was turning a screw, but everything was turning, like the tube was turning. So I was holding the tube and turning, and I didn't realize the tube was part of the screw. Oh. So then I ended up unscrewing oh. the thing totally, and then I was like... What, what, do, what do I do? What do I, I, and I accepted. I was like, I'm just going gonna, gonna to abandon my four-wheeler. Oh, and then shit. finally my neighbor, because my neighbor is like an old guy that fucking, he's like a handy handy guy. He, he was like, no, we'll do this. And then he helped me and he fixed it. And then I was like, fuck it. I just want to leave. I want to go to Florida. Got to Florida. I hadn't been in Florida in two years. And everything in my apartment was wrecked. Like everything, because it's so fucking humid there. So the the TVs had uh, had there was too much water in the TVs. I didn't even know that was a thing. Like oh, I man. couldn't turn the TVs on. It's not properly insulated. Uh, no, it is. It's just uh, Florida is so fucking humid that you gotta you gotta leave the AC on like kind of strong. And whenever people we'd rent it to people and they'd go. And I think when they'd leave it, they'd be like, I'm not going to leave it at fucking like 60. I'll, I'll put it up to 75. That's why it's comfortable. But 75 isn't enough to get rid of the humidity. Oh, so fuck. when I got into the apartment, I showed up at 2 in the morning. Fucking grocery stores were closed. And then I show up and it stunk like shit. And I was like, God damn, am I going to fucking like breathe black mold? And I went to bed. It was just disgusting. So then, only white mold for you. Yeah, only I'm very yeah. Whenever I'm with mold, I always do this sign. <laughs> I, got, I got my white mold sign. But yeah, so the first day, I was just trying to get rid of the fucking smell. I got rid of the smell, then got rid of the humidity. But then and, after he left, what else? Did yeah. You <laughs> and then fucking had to change TVs. Had to. I had to fucking change a uh, uh, garbage disposal. That's insane to my me. My garbage disposal was full, and uh, uh, I can't do any of this shit. One of my, neither can I. One, one of Marie's friends had uh, told us we'd we'd given her the condo for a week, and she was like, "Yeah, the garbage disposal is broken." And when she told me that, I was like, "Yeah, okay, so don't use it. Who cares? Like, it's it's who cares?" But the way she found out it was broken is she put in all her fucking uh, food, so it was stuck. and then it it didn't. She flipped the switch and nothing worked. So it was full of like rotten food. Oh, in there. oh what but, a, oh. but no, it didn't smell. But Drano. the only thing is, what when yes. you uh, when you like uh, when I turned on my uh, my dishwasher, the dishwasher outlet goes into the garbage disposal and then to the sewer. So since it was blocked, it had just come up. So then I started washing my dishes and I st saw the water rise, and I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. So then I got a vase. And I was just like scooping out the water from one one thing into the other, and I was like, "God damn, this isn't relaxing." That's the opposite of relaxing. Yeah, yeah, it's horrible. But then I finally got everything fixed. It took me like four days, and then I was like, "Okay, this is the best place in the world." 
But it was just <laughs> horrible. It was fucking horrible. God, oh, no, it I had, stressed me out. Like one of my TVs, because I wanted to rent, whenever I go to Florida, I rent like cool cars. And I rented a, um, I wanted to rent a car that was super cheap. And I rented a, a Porsche Boxster. Because Porsche Boxsters look like real Porsches, but they drive like fucking Mazda Miatas. Okay. And uh, I'd never driven one. I didn't know how shitty they were. Is that bad? But it was really bad. It, and it, but it was only 99 bucks a day to rent. Oh, fuck. 99, like, which is fucking cheap, like for a, a cool looking car. Yeah. But uh, the, you can't, it, it, it makes a, a, the same noise as a real Porsche, but it, it's super slow and everything. It's, was, it the, was it a four or six? It was a piece of shit. It was a, it was a two. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I thought uh, about the engine. The, the, I don't oh. know. I didn't look at the engine. Uh, but it, okay. it was just a, it, like for real, it was really slow. Like, because at first when I got on the highway, I was like, this is a fucking Porsche. So I saw there's a car coming. I was like, this is a Porsche. I'll just floor it. And then I was like, oh. Oh, and then I was shit. like, God damn. God. Then there was a sport button. I hit that. And that just made it make more noise, but it didn't go fast. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> and then, but, but you yeah. were like the poor man's rich guy. It's like yeah. my Honda Accord. Yeah, when yeah. I, when I fill the tank on my hand, Honda Accord, I can't, I can't, uh, uh, Get on the highway as fast as I could when it's at like uh, half. Really? Yeah. Because really? of the weight. Because of the weight. Yes. No. God, I damn. swear to God, bro. God damn. What the fuck? Yeah, like bro. when people beat me at the red light, it's like, oh, you lucky bastard! I'm at yeah. a full tank. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. My thing with the box, the thing I didn't like too is usually a convertible. There's a like a window in the back that you can look. Like to see if there's someone coming, but this thing has a, a thing that goes over your so head. So you can't see. So you can't see. Oh yeah, because so it's a fucking. It's just the. Oh, what's it called? It's just the the roof that comes off, basically. Yeah. So then, when like when you're looking to see if you're getting on the highway, you look this way, and all you see is your fucking a wall. <laughs> oh, that's so, absurd. So then you, you're kind of looking. <laughs> So every time, and the guy, the way he he had tinted the windows on the side, fucking like limousine black, like so you couldn't you couldn't see out. So I had to. He's keep, trying to kill you. I had to keep the window down, the windows down, even when the, with the top was up and it was raining. But it was just fucking crazy. What year was this? It's uh. This I, just happened. Yeah, it, it no, no. What year was the week. car? The car. It's sorry. an older car. It's uh, it's a two thousand. I think it was two thousand sixteen. Yeah, but uh, yeah, 2016. But yeah, so the, when I saw my TVs didn't work, I was like, I'll I'll go buy I'll buy a TV like a smaller TV for one of the bedrooms, and I'll put it in the in the fucking living room in the yeah. But to get it from the the Porsche uh, from the Target to my condo, I was like, I'll put it in the Porsche. I'll just stand it up like on the seat. But I didn't realize it was a little too big. I bought a 43 inch uh, model. And it wouldn't fit on the seat, so I had to put it kind of like on the on the rack to hold the drink. Oh my and god! And on the 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 armrest, so it was there, and it was fucking like it was way like super high. It's just popping out. You look like Mr. Bean. So oh, I had to put funny. my hand on on my uh, the windshield and put my elbow like to lean it up because <laughs> I couldn't hold it. Bro, you're like Mr. Magoo. Because yeah. I was like like this. I don't think I'm strong enough if if there's wind, but if I'm like this. Like, it, it's going to break my arm, so it's not. I'm going to be okay. But I started driving, <laughs> and then I felt like droplets, and I was oh, like, probably. is it fucking raining? <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck, if it rains, if it rains, I'm just going to leave the I'm, I'm gonna leave the TV here. And it didn't rain. I was so lucky. Dude, this but, is... L yeah. But God, you know how man. fucking cheap TVs are? I bought yeah, cheap, cheap TV, TVs are cheap now. I saw that, too. I bought a 43-inch LG TV, uh, like a smart TV. A hundred and ninety nine dollars, a hundred and ninety nine fucking dollars. Yeah. And then oh, I yeah. looked I, for the living room. I'm going to get a 65, 65 inch. Sixty five inch is five hundred dollars. But it used to be nah. sixty five inches were like two thousand. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, it's not crazy. God crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's because the technology is so like. Not advanced. But also, they make them shit. Now but they, they break make fast. them shit. They make yeah. them so shitty that my fucking someone forgot to turn the AC down to seventy, and it died. And my my TV drowned. <laughs> 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 my TV fucking drowned. <laughs> 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 
fucking Florida. So we have yeah. to go record episodes in Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, th- yeah, th- this winter, we I'm going to be there a lot of the time. So we're going to have a couple yeah. that will record for there. Nice. Yeah, the thing that sucks about Florida, I thought, because you, you always hear, like, it's a state that doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. I was surprised at how many people were wearing masks, like, at the store. I go to the store. Um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't ask them. But they, like, <sighs> you just see, like... Random people. I don't think they were tourists because there was no tourists in September. Is just uh, it dies Floridians. Out. Yeah. Oh, people I, are worried. I, just, pe- I yeah. just pictured you just aggressively asking, "Why are you a tourist?" I don't ask. Like I'd be like, "Are you a tourist, you?" Yeah. What? You live here? Or you here on vacation? Yeah. Why don't you ask the fucking question, bro? Yeah. What's the big deal? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I realize though, I'm like, there's a, a there's a, a resort near where I live that's amazing. And they have the reason why I find it amazing. They have a lazy river. Have you ever been in one of those? No, oh, those are nice. Oh, you you just float in a fucking like a a inner Greek. tube, <laughs> <laughs> and then it just it pushes you around. So you do like a little circuit, and you. It sounds like fun. It is. It's very so fun. It's so relaxing. And I used to go there all the time. And the way I'd get in, you had to stay at the hotel to stay there. So the f- I, I stayed at the hotel there once, and I stole four uh, four towels. And now <laughs> then I'd go back with the towels. So I just show up. I'm, I'm wearing I'm wearing my swim trunk, and I oh, got the clever. towels. So like then, he's from here. Yeah, they're like this guy is from here. So then I'd get on on the inner tube, and then I'd float, and then I'd have my wet towel. And then I'd take it out, and in the lobby, I'd shove it in my bag and then just go back home. <laughs> but the last time I was in Florida, the, that hotel had a, they put a, a, a wave machine in and another thing, like kind of a theme park type thing. Oh, and shit. I was like, oh, this, the, this is cool, but the security is going to get a little tighter if uh, they're know, spending more money. If they're spending more oh, money. That's and funny. then I saw during the pandemic, they started charging people now for day passes because they realized people like me were, were coming in. So now they charge 55 bucks a day pass. And I'm nah. like, go fuck yourself. I'm not yeah. paying 55. How much is a room? 40. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I went in and I brought my towel and I was afraid. Like I'm walking in with my towel and I was like, I hope they didn't change the towels because I'll oh, look like a buffoon. Oh, that would be amazing. But they didn't. But now they had security guys at everything. So I was like, oh, fuck. I'm gonna. They're gonna check your so card. So I stopped at the bar, and it was written, "You need your card all the time." And the thing I do whenever I'm alone, or I tell Marie to do when we were together, I'd be like, "You go in first, uh, and uh, I'll be sitting at a bar outside the thing. Go in, and with your shitty English, if they if they talk to you, go. I don't understand. He he have the he have the the the, the cart. He have the cart." And then I'll I'll just be like this, and they'll point, <laughs> they'll go over, and I'll be I'll wave like a fucking <laughs> like a buffoon. But now I was alone, so I was like, I have no one to wave at. But I I figured I was like, I'll just buy uh I'll just buy a um a a drink at the bar. And the way they work, the outside bar is uh, glass glasses, and the inside bar inside the section that you have to pay it's plastic, so you don't drop it in the pool. So I, I ordered a drink and uh, I asked the guy I was like can I get a can I get a, a plastic glass and he's like no that that's just for over there and I was like oh, fuck I'm super clumsy I keep dropping I, I drop my shit all the time so <laughs> if you don't mind like I'm sorry but I'm gonna drop this and then he was like okay and then he dropped the thing and I was like thank you and then I went in and it was amazing. <laughs> I was so happy. I was like, God damn, I should do tutorials. But if I do tutorials, <laughs> then they're, 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 they're not going to do yeah, it. Yeah, it was the best. The only thing that fucking sucked was... You uh, look like John McClane of this shit. Yeah. yeah they, I, I, I have a thing that I, I, I used to put around my neck to put my cell phone and to put my, my money. And now I didn't have that. So I was like, fuck, I'm going to be in the lazy river and someone might steal my shit. Oh, that would scare yeah. me. So what I did, I didn't. I put a bit. I like, I put a bit of money, and uh, I only had one card, and I kept one card in my pocket, just in case. Yeah, I, I had that when we were at the beach. Uh, my wife's like, "Why do you keep looking back at our stuff?" I go, "Cause these fucking gypsies are gonna steal my shit." And every time somebody would walk by, I would just stop in the water and be looking like this. Yeah. And sometimes they're getting too close. I start walking out, and so I'm like an old man. I'm like, "Hey." Hey, and they're like, what? They go, get the fuck away from my stuff. And the guy's like, I'm not getting yeah. your stuff. Yeah, I'd be super, super powerful because the, there were so many gypsies too. Gypsy oh, yeah, kids. it's Greece. Yeah, you get, yeah, yeah, in Europe, you get stolen way more. Yeah. Like in Florida, 
It's all no one. Can, it's all tourists that don't give a fuck. I was too aggressive for anyone to steal. Like I had really good, like whenever a gypsy would be like, "Hey, can I have? I need this." I go, "I don't need your story, gypsy. Keep moving." <laughs> I was very uh, gr- only with gypsies. If it was homeless people, I'd give them change. But gypsies, I'd be like, "Get out of here! I don't want to hear your fucking stories." Hold on, what's the difference? On. Well, gypsies are gypsies. It's I the know, clan. It a fucking like that's how they want to live. And then there's homeless people who are down to luck. I'll yeah. help the homeless people. Yeah, the gypsy okay. came fuck off. Florida homeless are are. Like, I always give to homeless here, and I gave to homeless there, too. Yeah. But here, usually, if you give them money, they, they realize you gave them money. But there, I think everyone treats them like garbage. So I'd always give 20s, which is fucking good. Like, an yeah, American 20 is, like, almost 30 it's like bucks like a Canadian now. 80. Yeah. So, but every time, I'd give them money, and, but they wouldn't finish their... They, they were, it, it was like they were working in telemarketing. Yeah. So they'd be like, can you help me, sir? I really need help. I'm down on my luck. And I'd give them money. They'd be like, I haven't eaten in three days. And I was like, you have 20 in your fucking Go hand. Eat. Go eat. Yeah, no, in... in yeah. Uh, uh, the way it was with the gypsies, because people too would freak out when you, because not all people give them like change, like tourists would mostly. But with the gypsies, they have like little tricks. Like for example, when you're eating, the rose gypsy comes. There'll be like two oh, or three yeah, around yeah, you yeah. trying to sell you a rose, right? So this one gypsy, I was there and I was like, uh, we're sitting, uh, we're eating, and she's like, uh, oh, you want to buy a rose for your girlfriend or whatever? I go, I don't want to buy a fucking. And I was like, like I don't want to buy a rose. Keep keep walking. And then she's like, maybe she wants to go. She doesn't want a fucking rose. I go, keep walking, gypsy. <laughs> like uh, I don't like the gypsies. And then she's like, oh, and then Did I go. Did you call her gypsy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm very aggressive with the gypsy. And then I go, I go, how about this? I go, because I had, I, I had a, a two euro. I had the two euro. Uh, I go, I'll give you a two euro right now. Just fuck off. I don't want to see you. And she's like, oh, okay, but if you oh, give me a two mistake. euro, I have to give you the rose. And then I'm like, I'm not taking the fucking rose. I go, this is what you can do. I go, if you were smart at business, this is what I told a friend of the, every, like I'm yeah. sitting there with my wife, I go, if you were smart at business, you would take the two euros, take the fucking rose, go sell to some dumb tourist down there and make another two euros or whatever you're going to yeah. make off a second, uh, off the same rose. I go, no, but I have to give it to you because it's the way. I go, it's not the way. I go, you know what it is? I go, uh, you're going to leave this fucking rose because you want me to walk around with the fucking rose or her. So then other gypsies think that we're marks because we have the fucking uh, the rose. So they could try to sell us or rob our shit. I go, who's a fucking born yesterday, gypsy? Take the two fucking euros and leave and then she panicked she took the two euros left the rolls on the table and then uh, I left there I go leave the we're not taking this fucking rolls that's yeah. a mark it's just to show other gypsies that you can be fooled yeah yeah. fucking gypsies bro. they're yeah. not gonna pull a fast one on me anyways now I have a curse on me <laughs> <laughs> but yeah these fucking gypsies bro. Uh, it's crazy yeah it's a real thing yeah they yeah. tried to pull the same shit uh, with me also a while ago like years ago what the rose thing that's classic yeah the rose is yeah, yeah they do that to everyone that's ever been anywhere yeah yeah, yeah. i like yeah. that you're like you know what <laughs> fucking small world no no. <laughs> no but that's not how i meant it i'm just saying the- i've been through it bro <laughs> i was at a restaurant once you're not gonna believe this <laughs> fucking lady came tried to sell me a fucking rose yeah they, it's a uh, it's to show that you're a mark i love yeah. i love to when they're they're because usually if they're good at what they do they'll find couples yeah. But I remember once I was in Spain with Michel, so uh, Michel Mann. So we're two dudes. And me, <laughs> Michel, and a, a guy named Louis that was doing a documentary on me, we're there. And a lady was like, do you want to buy a rose? And I was like, For yeah, who? we're three fucking guys. That's and we're that. obviously like, you look at us. We don't look like it's not a couple and our, our gay friend. We're fucking three guys. It's a we're, thruple. We're, we're yeah. fucking North Americans just talking yeah, loud. Yeah. And I was like, everyone oh. jerks their friends off by the pool, yeah. lady. <laughs> I don't know. But, and then I ended up, so I guess we did look like Mars. I ended up buying like a lot of her flowers just to give to Michelle. So he'd have to walk around with them. That's so oh, he that's had funny. like, oh, he seven, like a big mark. <laughs> like seven yeah. or eight flowers. <laughs> that's funny. He was a whale. Yeah. yeah. I was going. <laughs> that's Listen, funny. if you like these kind of stories, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to start your own podcast, booking podcast studio at gmail.com is a website or pantelscomedy.com. And you can find the link over there. It's much easier. Mike Ward is online. Mike Ward. is the website to catch him on tour. His French tour is finishing up right now. And the English one will be starting shortly. But check out Suze Kut if you speak French, the number one French language comedy podcast on the planet. Patreon.com slash Suzekut. Sign up today. The Poseidon 69, right over there. Twitter and Instagram, or find all these links on Linktree. Linktree slash I am Poseidon. Check out my stuff on patreon.com slash Pantelis. Thank you all, and go fuck yourselves.